The Stegosaurus. Everyone knows what it looked like, but why did it have those kite-shaped plates on its back? Stegosaurus was first discovered in Colorado in the USA in 1877 and translates literally as roofed lizard. Because originally, the strange plates on its back were thought to have laid flat, forming a sort of roof over the animal, perhaps to shelter it from rain, a bit like a prehistoric umbrella. Today, that idea seems crazy. Scientists now agree the plates were arranged in two rows down the Stegosaurus's back, but there's still a lot of debate about exactly what they were used for. Some have suggested that the plates were used as armor, giving protection from its main predator, the vicious, terrifying, and bloodthirsty Allosaurus, who liked nothing more than a Stegosaurus steak for supper. Others think that the plates were used to regulate its body temperature, blushing red with blood to lose heat on a hot day when the sun is burning down over the prehistoric Earth, or gathering the heat from the sun to warm up on a cool day, like wearable solar panels for dinosaurs. Further groups of paleontologists believe the plates were used as signals to other stegosauruses. Perhaps the males used them to attract the ladies, impressing them with their size and color, or they were signaling to other stegosauruses nearby just how strong and powerful they were, much like how deer use their antlers today. After 100 years of debating their use, most scientists now think that the plates may have been used for a mixture of these reasons. A bit of defending from vicious predators, a bit of thermoregulation to deal with the extreme hot or bitter cold, and mostly showing off to impress the other stegosauruses. One thing scientists do agree on is that despite its impressive looks and impressive size, measuring up to 9 meters long and weighing nearly 5 tons, stegosaurus wasn't the sharpest tool in the box. Inside its head was a brain no bigger than that of a modern-day kitten. So we wonder what would have happened if it came across a ball of wool. I guess we'll never know. Tell us if you do.